Back when I was a kid, MS Paint was just a fun little program to make bad art that I was so proud of. Mom, Mom, look what I made. Very nice, Timmy. But apparently nowadays, it's a cash machine. So today I want to do a little quiz so you can see if she actually does like you or even just how good you are at recognizing signals. But seriously, the story of Casually Explained is awesome. He started out just as a dude who wanted to make funny videos, and all he really had was MS Paint. So he just went with it. But if they have no problem talking about anything and everything except their past, is either something they don't want you to know, which is pretty bad, or they're a Russian spy, which is pretty hot. And as of now, he's hit over 3 million subscribers. So the question is, how did he do it? And how could I do it? Because when I look at his content, I start to get a little jealous. At first I think, bad art in MS Paint. Anyone can do that. And then I remember, I'm not funny. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> But neither of these statements are as true as they seem, so it's time to dive in and really take a look into the content of Casually Explained. I'm Pretentious Epic, this is How To YouTube, and let's go. While Casually Explained is one of the foremost examples of this bad MS Paint art style, he's not the only one having mad success right now. Channels like Sam Onella's also use this style to similarly massive success. Hey little Jimmy. Yeah, what's up? Do you like Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah, it's alright. So do you think it- But it's important to remember, this has been a thing for even long before them. I remember first seeing it with this trash animation Pokemon spoof. Yes, today I start my journey to become a Pokemon master. Don't forget to eat your breakfast. Have some fruit salad. Salad. Yummy, yummy. It's hard to say exactly why it's so much fun, but I think it taps into that so bad it's good humor, with the added bonus of being self-aware. And because it's intentionally bad, we don't actually have to be good artists. You can see a lot of memes do this too, using intentionally bad editing as a source of humor. But don't get me wrong, being bad does not make it low effort. Making a full color slide still takes a lot of time, and even casually explained can get tired sometimes. And Mr. Explained does something cool that I think a lot of people wouldn't normally think about, which is planting these little jokes secretly in the background. They can be hard to spot, but they hit that much harder when you actually notice them, and they give his videos a bit of extra replay value. But as fun as these slides are, they only work as complements to the comedic narration. And this is where, for someone like me, things get daunting. It's easy for me to just say, I'm not funny, and call it quits. But before we panic, let's take a look at the thought process behind Casually Explain's first video, Absolute Hot. The acronym proved difficult to publish, so I eventually shortened it to simply, My New Mixtape. <laughs> Out of context, this joke is good, but not great. To make it better, we need buildup. So let's start off our video by seriously talking about what temperature is and leading up to what would be absolute hot. Temperature, generally speaking, is a measurement of a material's average internal kinetic energy at a given moment. Essentially, particles... With this serious educational buildup, our punchline is less expected and then hits much harder. MNMT, which stands for Maximal Nuclear Measurement Temperature. But the acronym proved difficult to publish, so I eventually shortened it to simply My New Mixtape. <laughs> But we can do even better, so let's add some jokes in. When we have to switch units, what if we made one up? Increasing this to 600 degrees, we have the temperature of a typical small wood fire, and then just a bit hotter than that, we have Natalie Dormer. Or in the scientific community, 1ND or dorm. At around 10 dorms, we have the Or what's something dorms. dumb that they could have used the Hadron Collider for? Eventually, at an absolutely insane 9 giga dorms, we have the highest measured laboratory temperature, which was achieved in 2012 at CERN laboratories where researchers used the Large Hadron Collider to reheat a frozen hot pocket. This maximum temperature is known as HPP or the hot pocket potential, and it's since become By adding this buildup and putting just a few extra jokes in, the video ends up being much, much better, and this is the important lesson. Comedy doesn't take genius. It just takes time. But by starting with one tiny idea, 
even just a word and building on it. They take one boring sentence and turn it into one interesting sentence, then into a funny sentence, then into a punchline, then they add a setup to get there, then they do it again and again, continually regrouping and rehashing material until finally they have something to perform or a show to release. Even when you've got a phenomenal joke, don't be afraid to add little jokes around it. Because all these jokes add on to each other. Part of comedy is about working the audience into that state of hysteria where they'll laugh at anything, and smile amusedly jokes become roll on the floor jokes. Worry about death. <laughs> so you don't have to be afraid about not being funny at first. No one's funny at first. Casually explained probably isn't that funny at first. But what he does is keep working at it, keep tweaking his video, tweaking his word choices until the video's as funny as possible. So for anyone thinking that he just got lucky, stop that. But for anyone wanting to try their hand at these kinds of videos and thinking they're just not funny enough, stop that. <laughs> Please, do make these videos. Go for it. Because as simple as the bad MS Paint style can be, even just comparing Mr. Explained with Sam Onella, you can see a lot of differences between their styles. Every individual's bad MS Paint is going to look different and unique to them, and I think that's awesome. So for anyone wanting to do YouTube, maybe the secret to success has been right underneath your naughty folder this whole time. Many of his videos are presented in a deadpan style with little change in expression or tone, and while not considered to be terribly intellectual, he dryly reminded us the only test he ever failed was the Turing. <laughs>